Hi everyone and welcome to Yum's Cuisine Island Treasure Foot. If you enjoy dishes from different cultures, ethnicities and countries, then this channel is for you. Please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be the first to know each time I'm uploading. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Tell a friend and all your family. So come on over to Yum's Cuisine. So today we are making cinnamon roll, the best recipe ever. And my first ingredient is salt. We also have here yeast, sugar, flour. In this bowl I have here one egg, melted margarine, and my milk. And these will be the ingredients to start our recipe. But before we get into that, we are going to activate the yeast. And this is my yeast here, my salt. But first, we are going to start with my melted butter. And I'm going to add this to my milk. I'm going to give that a stir. And then to this, I'm going to add my salt and my yeast. And my sugar, just one tablespoon for now. And I'm going to give that a stir. And we're going to come back when it's well activated. So we're back and I have here my activated yeast and as you can see it has rise the foam level and now we are just going to add this to the batter. So first we're going to add our sugar and we're going to stir that well combining it into the flour and then I'm going to create my well to put my wet ingredients. Before I do so, I'm going to beat my egg and now I'm going to add the egg into the center and then my activated yeast mix. Just putting some more in there guys and I'm going to take the butter from the ends, bring it to the center and combine it, forming a dough ball. Now, you always want to start off with a little and add as you go. You don't want the dough to be too soft or too tough. So, this I'm going to knead. And then I'm going to set it aside. Covering it with cling wrap. Before I do so, I'm going to add some oil so that my top wouldn't get any cracks or crumbles. I'm going to knead that and set aside, covering it with some cling wrap and then I'm going to return. But while this is rising, we are going to go on to our next step. So I have here some sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg and cardamom or eliche powder. I'm going to add my cinnamon and my nutmeg and my cardamom powder and this is going to form my filling I'm going to mix that well so I'm doing this while my flour is rising while my mix is rising and it's going to be so soft and nice so as you can see here we mixed this well it's well combined so I'm back and I have had this set aside for approximately 45 minutes to rise and as you can see now guys it is really soft but it's not done here kneading is the most important 
So now we're going to knead again. So first I'm going to flour the surface. Make sure that I have a good amount of flour on there. And then I'm going to take my dough and put it onto my counter to knead. I'm going to sprinkle some flour there as well. And I'm going to start kneading. And people, you don't want to knead by folding it in and pressing on like you're making dumpling. You're not making dumpling. You want your dough to be very soft. So you're squishing your dough together in your hands and you're working that dough. You're not folding and tightening. You don't want to tighten the dough. You just want the gluten to be activated. Okay? So you're squeezing and you're pressing and you're working that dough. And we're going to do this step twice. So after we knead and get this dough all soft and nice, we're going to set aside for 45 minutes again. And then we're going to take it out again and we're going to knead again. And then we're going to set it back for 45 minutes. And then we're going to come back. So this is me kneading here, guys. And I'm really working this dough. You don't want to fall, as I told you. You just want to work the dough and get that gluten going yes guys roll you can roll you can squeeze you can punch it just don't fold you don't want the dough to get tight so as you can see still sticking to the counter that tells me it's not quite there yet but as you can see as I press it's bouncing back so it's almost there it's spongy but it's not quite where I need it to be. So I'm going to knead and knead and knead some more. So okay, I think it's ready to go for its, net, for its next resting. As you can see as I press, it springs back. It's very bouncy and spongy. And that is what you're looking for before you put it back to rest. Okay? So now I'm going to get some oil. I'm just going to put it over it so that I won't get any cracks or creases on top. And you cover it with cling wrap again or a damn kitchen towel. So as that's resting, we are going to move on to our next step. I have here some butter, milk, powdered sugar, cream cheese, lemon essence, and vanilla extract. First, I'm just going to add the cream cheese to the butter and I'm going to smash that with the fork, smash both with the fork so that it will be easier to whisk. To this, I'm going to add some of my powdered sugar, not all, as well as my milk, some of my milk, my vanilla extract, and I'm using quarter teaspoon of the vanilla extract. my lemon essence and I'm just gonna put that to my taste and you can put as much as you like and I'm gonna combine that whisking away and now if it's too thick you can add milk add some more powdered sugar as you go and you want to get all those crumbs and lumps out you want a smooth consistency in the end and guys, this is going to be so good, so, so good on that cinnamon roll. So I'm adding some more powdered sugar. Again, if it's too thick, you can add some more milk. And I'm giving it a good stir, as you can see. Now I'm adding a bit more milk and powdered sugar, the rest of my powdered sugar. And I'm giving that a good stir. Getting all those lumps out and bring it to a smooth consistency. Guys, as you can see here, it is now to the smooth consistency that is required 
So now I can go back to my dough. So I'm back here with my dough and as you can see it is ready. It is so soft and squishy. So I'm going to flour my work surface to get it ready to roll out. So I'm just pressing out all those air bubbles and air pockets and then I'm forming back a dough ball to get it ready to roll out. And now, before you roll out, you want to ensure that you stretch this dough to make it easier when you are ready to roll. So you want to stretch out this dough. And you want to put a generous amount of flour on your work surface to prevent it from sticking to the surface. Not that it should, based on the amount of kneading this dough got. So now I'm going to roll it out. As you can see, my dough is very soft. So you just want to roll, roll, roll. Make sure that you get those ends thin as well. You don't want the ends to be fat. Get them thin. You want an even size throughout. About half inch thick. Sorry, quarter inch thick. And now, when it's finished rolling, I'm going to put my filling. But before I do so, so now I'm going to add some margarine to the surface. And this is going to help the sugar to stay on. So that when we're rolling, it won't fall off. And you want to pack this margarine on thick. Because if it isn't on thick, the sugar will fall off again. And this butter is not only going to add flavor, it's going to add moisture to the cinnamon roll. You want the cinnamon roll to be so soft and so spongy. And this margarine is going to add that to it. So put it on thick and get that filling going on it and you want all over you don't want any patches you want the entire dough to be covered with this margarine or butter you don't want any patches same goes with the filling so we're gonna put the filling on now And now you can use a spoon to put on the filling or you can pour all onto your dough and use your hands to spread it out but I'm not gonna do that I already have my spoon in my hand I'm gonna use my spoon to put the filling on and to press it into the butter or margarine you can also use a rolling pin after plastering the filling onto the margarine or butter and you're rolling it to press that sh those sugar grains into the margarine or butter so that it won't fall off when rolling you also want to ensure that there are no patches with the filling because you don't want when you roll on your cut there's no filling in certain parts it won't make our cinnamon rolls complete. It will be looking very patchy and like it's starving for filling. And we don't want that. We want with every bite, you get filling. So you just wanna spread that out. Going to the ends as well. You wanna go right out to the ends and you wanna fold this as tightly as you can. From end to end. You also want to take your time. You don't want to rip the dough as it is soft. So you 
see how I'm taking my time. You want to take your time and make sure that it's rolled tightly. So now that I've finished rolling them, I'm going to be using my serrated bread knife to cut them into discs. But you can also use a nylon or a thread if you choose. I'm going to set these aside for 45 minutes to rise again and then I'm going to put them in a preheated oven at 350 degrees to bake for approximately 20 minutes. So this brings us to the end of the video. And these will be topped with my caramel for my first video as well as my cream cheese glaze as you can see and guys these cinnamon rolls are to die for so yummy so delicious so if you enjoyed this video again please like share comment and